The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thanks, DigiKey. This is the time of the week, every single week, when Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you, yes, you, find the things you need on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what is this week's Great Search? I'm glad you asked. Um, so this week's Great Search is I just made a breakout board for the DS4420, which is a really adorable mono audio amplifier with I2C volume control. So it's analog volume, you have analog in, analog out, but then in between, you have an I2C you know, level control, which is you know, kind of handy, like you can, um, you, know, you don't want to have a volume knob and you don't want to go digital and back out, it's uh, fairly inexpensive. And um, as I was working on it, I was like, ah, oh, you know, it'd be really cool if there was a stereo version. So I was like, let's find a stereo version. Uh, so let's go to the, uh, sorry, let's go to the computer and uh, I'll show the DS4420. Uh, so this is, um, there's only one in stock because I just bought a bunch. I've learned my lesson. I don't do a great search and show something cool that I need uh, without me purchasing the number that I need. So I, I bought, I bought up a bunch, although there are, you know, there, there'll be more available soon. Um, so the DS, okay, hold on. Let me look this up, the data sheet. So this chip, like I said, it is a, um, amplifier for audio applications. Um, it has I squared C out, sorry, I squared C control, three, um, address pins, um, audio out, audio in, differential, you know, analog ground. And then when you go down, 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 you can see basically there's like a control register. You can set the gain, mute, and standby. So handy, but again, it's uh, mono. So I wanted to find something similar, um, but uh, uh, stereo instead of mono. Also like, wow, 74 weeks. Nuts. All right, so let's go to audio amplifiers. And so this is interesting because what I want, the, especially the I2C control part is a little bit weird because there isn't like an interface box, right? If there's a box here that said like, okay, SPI, I2C, whatever, but there isn't. And so we're gonna have to use kind of, I used a new technique to find this part. So let's start with active um, and preliminary. So I only want stuff that's out or about to come out. Okay, great. So there's now about 2,000 parts. So next up, you know, there's this long list, and you see they all have, like, features. And, um, again, the feature I want is I squared C. But, uh, you know, they don't, it's like there's no way to search for just I squared C. So what I did is I tried, well, what if I just put in the filter here? Um, and that was good, except that because... Um, you see there's this little like superscript I squared C. It didn't come up in the features, which is something I'll tell DigiKey they should, they should alias. So instead I went down here and I found the, the superscript too. And I went back up here and then I changed this to um, filter on these. And then I'll say that, you know, there's some of these that are I2S and you know, I I kind of tried to remove as many as I could of them because I don't want I2S. I want true analog. And again, that's not a searchable um, thing. But I also didn't, I kind of didn't care too much because there weren't that many. And eh, this is good enough. Okay, so apply. So those are 200. Um, next up, I remember I want it to be stereo. So definitely don't want mono with mono headphones. Um, I don't want one channel, I want two channel. Stereo, 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 stereo. Okay, cool, I'm gonna apply this filter. All right, great, now we're talking. So um, the other thing that came up as I was searching is there was a lot of BGA parts and I like I had enough stuff going on in my life. I, I do not need to throw a BGA, I mean, I get it because it's like they're meant for like headphones or like portable things, they need to be very small. Um, I do not want BGA, and so I'm going to um, make sure that I select only the non-BGA parts. So TSOP's okay, and QFN, no BGA, no BGA, no BGA, no BGA. I mean, I'm not going to get some that's 99 pins anyways, but I, I just basically did 
no BGA. <laughs> and that gets me down to 31 parts. So now, now I'm really looking at only the things that are um, available. Now most of them seem, there seem to be quite a few in stock. So let's look by price. So um, there were a couple. So this one was kind of nice. It's not in stock. Um, so I kind of, you know, it, it, it does do um, what it says on the tin. It's a um, class AB. So it's an audio amplifier um, with I squared C. You can see it has a little headphone and there's audio in and there's um, I2C. So it's analog, analog. And then if you scroll down, you know, they tell you um, the vol. It also has basically just volume control. And it looks like there's like a bass boost you can turn on too. So you can turn on, um, you know, uh, a, a gain, a nonlinear gain so that the lower frequencies have a little bit more of a, of a boost, which kind of sometimes helps with cheap headphones that don't have um, low frequency response. Bad news is not in stock. Uh, and who knows when it will be in stock. So that's where I found, this wasn't too bad. It's like, you know, a dollar in tape and reel. Um, the TPA 6130. So this part looked not too bad. One thing I liked about it, it has wide power supply. It has the audio, 64-step audio taper. Um, it comes in QFN and BGA, but I don't have to do BGA, I do QFN. And, you know, it's a pretty simplified uh, schematic. It's not too complicated. What's interesting is that you have a little um, charge pump inside, probably to, uh, to drive that headphone. And, and get it, um, I wonder if they have a false ground. Yeah, they do a false ground. So it really is meant for headphones. There's no um, blocking caps because it lifts, it, it just makes sure that the headphone output is centered um, around, about, around the ground so there's no DC uh, offset. So it's actually kind of a nice design. And then if you go down, you know, they, they also show you, hey, you know, here's what, here's how we do it with the, uh, bias voltage versus having it ground centered. Um, audio taper, you know, basically they do nominal dB gain to um, looks like negative 100 to 4 dB. And you just program, you basically just like write the register. Not a lot going on. Let's see, there's a few registers. Um, looks like you can mute each um, left and right and you can set the volume. So you know, basically four or five registers, very simple, um, but very effective. I actually really like this design. So I think I'm gonna go with this one, the, the TPA 6130, that's what I want. It's I squared C, voltage range, uh, no cap required, audio output, headphone drive, um, and stereo input and output. This is my pick. That's a great search. Wait.